I've been taking things to the skip today and I saw these two that one of my neighbors put out and I think I have an idea. Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. In this one I'll make a bench out of these two chairs that I found in the back alley. As you can see they are in a pretty rough condition and I think they are probably from Ikea and they are only put together with some bolts and dowels, no glue at all. These chairs are pretty low quality, they're made from pine and as you can see there are some plastic fittings underneath, so nothing fancy. Judging by the way they look, I can tell that they've been outside for a long time exposed to the elements. I decided to try and use my sander to remove the varnish without taking the chairs apart. Two thousand years later. I wasn't going to reuse the seats, so I took them off, but I don't like to throw things away, so I decided to use one of them to make something useful. As you can see, those double-sided stickers were not strong enough to hold that massive extension cord, so this was a perfect solution. But let's get back to the chairs. As you can see, there was some mold and discoloration in the wood, so I sprayed the chairs with this spray and I left them outside to dry because it was really nice and warm that day. I wasn't quite satisfied with the sanding job, so I took the chairs apart and sanded every piece individually. And also, there was no glue used, so I wanted to add some glue and make sure that they were nice and sturdy. And just as I was finished, Hugo came to give me a cuddle. I was actually looking after him for a couple of days because his owners went on holiday. He is definitely one of the friendliest and most chilled cats I've ever seen. As I mentioned, I wanted these chairs to be sturdy and to last for a long time. So I used some glue, clamped it together and I used the bolts that came with the chairs. I'm actually thinking about donating this project to one of my neighbors. There is an older lady who lives next to me 
and she often works in her garden so I thought it would be nice if she had a bench to sit on. These are the bolts that were in those chairs, so I just put them back and after the glue dried they were very nice and sturdy and I was very happy. And obviously I had to do everything twice, so I'm not gonna make you watch all of it again, so I just speed through this whole process. And this is my idea for the bench. So I had this large slab of something that's called spalted beach. And spalting is basically something that results from wood being infected by fungi. It often happens when the tree falls down or when it's just old and not alive anymore. And all those patterns in the grain that just fungus. And spalting doesn't affect all species of wood equally, but it does happen to beach very often. The reason I'm using different tools is because I use my track saw just to get a straight edge so I can reference it against the fence on the table saw and cut it to the width that I want. In ideal scenario, I would just use the entire slab for the seat of the bench, but it was too big to put it in my thicknesser, so I had to cut it to more manageable pieces. It was pretty rough so it took many many passes until I was happy with the finish. If I had a planer that was large enough I would plane one of the sides first before putting it through the thicknesser but I didn't and it was pretty flat so I was happy with it. This is fun, I had to take my thicknesser apart because this large a chunk of wood got stuck and I need to get it out. Let's hope it works or I'm in trouble. As always, just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you beautiful generous people for supporting my channel via buy me a coffee or by hitting the super thanks button. Now you can also support my channel via membership, so you can click the join button and have a look at all the benefits and the perks that are available and all the content that I post that is just not suitable for my main channel.
I used my table saw to make sure that all the pieces had nice straight edges. This handy tool allows you to drill holes in the center of the board and it's super quick and easy to use it. Because I wanted to use dowels to join both boards, I used these pins to transfer the position of each hole onto the other board. I'm just using a hammer to transfer the position of each pin onto the other board and then the little mark that each pin leaves I will use to position the drill bit and to drill a hole. I was able to get a very nice and strong fit. Were the boards completely flat and straight? No. Was it good enough? Absolutely. If you ever work with wood, you know that depending on humidity, wood moves and I was working with, you know, doors open and temperature changes and humidity changes and boards will move a little bit, but it was nothing to worry about and I was perfectly happy. I clamped it and I left it for several hours. When I came back I did a little bit of sanding just to make sure that the joint was absolutely flat and it looked pretty good to me. Friendly neighborhood cat came to inspect the work that I've just done and I think she was okay with it. I used one of the original seats to transfer the distance between the notches onto the new seat so I could recess it a little bit. I use my cordless jigsaw and a chisel to cut them out and then I use the rasp to clean them up and give them a little bit of a bevel.
I cut the seat to its final width and length and then I use my router to give it a nice decorative but also very useful and practical edge. Still needs some sanding, but it's looking pretty good. I just felt like this didn't look right, so I cut it out. I used UV resin and dye to fill in all the cracks and knots. Once cured and exposed to sunlight, this resin actually looked kind of like amber or wood sap. I came back the next day and I sanded everything with 120, 150 and 180 grit and it was looking pretty good. I use the same pins as before to transfer the position of each hole onto the seat so I would know where to drill holes for the threaded inserts.
and I decided to use hard wax oil to make sure this bench had a durable finish as it would likely end up being somewhere outside. And guys, check out this grain. Have you ever seen Spalted Beach before? It looks so cool, so many different colors and patterns, I really like it. It was a beautiful day so the oil dried really quickly and I was able to apply another coat in no time. I attached the seat and the backrest to the chair and it was pretty much done. I was able to apply another coat once everything was put together and let it dry. Guys, if you enjoyed this type of video, do subscribe for more content from me. You'll be notified when I post another video. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the final result. See you in the next video.